Hello Transformers fans and today I just have a uh, short comparison video uh, mostly between the uh, Beast of Boss upgrade kit and the uh, SND kit and no you are not seeing things I did go and uh, put the smokestack on the shoulder with the SND kit so you can actually see um, the difference and in, in the way that looks I mean yes uh, you know you do end up seeing part of that smokestack in the back on either side um, and I also um, put on one of the uh, one of the new uh, knee pads as well so you can see how um, the leg looks um, with both of them there just as a comparison for that I mean the, the only issue with uh, the upgraded foot with this knee pad is that there is a slight gap um, in there um, otherwise you know I, I, I do think the uh, the larger knee pads actually do work with this um, but other than that um, uh, I, I do like the way this looks, although the uh, the IDW look, um, I, I think I do prefer for the kit. Um, so, I mean, it's like, other than that, I mean, obviously S&D is, is, is actually leader class height. There's not much height difference um, between uh, Megatron, who doesn't actually have an upgraded kit except for uh, Rip Pro Labels. Um, you know, it, l it looks to be possibly with like a quarter of an inch difference. Um, SND, uh, you got the, uh, multiple, uh, placements for the swords. Um, this being the longer one, which I thought looked, uh, way cooler. Um, and then you got a giant axe. And then what I'm considering to be a dagger-sized sword, um, only because... Only because um, of this right here. I mean, it, it's about half the size <laughs> of this giant uh, uh, sword right there. Um, so I'm considering the smaller one, you know, <laughs> to be more like a dagger. Um, you don't get anything like that with the uh, Bezel Boss kit. Um, you do get a. Uh, what I consider to be a better looking blaster. It's a little bit longer. Um, you do get the nice uh, silver and black paint on it as well. Um, you do get uh, this blaster over here um, with the uh, Biza Boss, which um, I'm also considering that blaster to actually be more like a leader class uh, blaster. Uh, only because it's uh, just, uh, to me, it's a little too big to be uh, a blaster for a Voyager. Uh, and, I mean, it uh, does have the uh, light piping, which, you know, really does only end up working um, when you end up putting it in front of the light. Otherwise, you know, you don't really see it light up. Um differences major differences in the uh, new crotch area and thigh area uh, these only slip over the tabs that are already on the legs and then you get the one piece that just slips over the side with the side skirts or uh, side crotch plates um, which uh, yeah, they're okay I mean I like the center piece for, for the new crotch um, more than I do the uh, the rest of it, or even the thigh covers, because you know these things tend to pop off, and even even these pieces tend to pop off. Um, uh, obviously, these ones they connect in uh, two different places, and these stay on. These do not pop off, and uh, this whole new waist piece and crotch piece is good. Um, still, I thought maybe it could have used like a strip of yellow in here, uh, you know preferably 
and obviously you can see the differences with the, the whole new shin guard and the uh, the uh, knee pads here. Um, also the fact that the feet are completely different. You got upgraded, more Optimus looking uh, prime feet um, with the SND and obviously you know just my uh, repro labeled foot with the gray plastic on the original Combined Norris Prime. Um, and obviously, you know, the uh, the shoulder pads, which, um, you know, the uh, uh, Beza Boss has like the more characteristic smokestack uh, shoulder pads compared to the uh, IDW styles, um, which looks pretty cool. Um, And then, you know, the obvious differences in uh, chest pieces. Um, they both have the transparent uh, plastic. Um, both have, uh, actually, this has the, the wipers uh, molded in and painted. And uh, painted black up along the bottom of the window. Painted silver up on the top. Uh, molded in and painted side view mirrors. Um... Whereas S and D doesn't have that, um, although I do consider this to be the uh, better looking of the chest pieces, but I do like the way that one is molded and the colored. Um, this obviously has the uh, better uh, abdomen section um, and grill section, which I, I do prefer this one over that one because th they could have seriously done a better job on the Beza Boss for that. Um, with without a doubt as far as that goes um, head uh, the SND kit head actually um, is sized to fit the a leader class figure whereas the uh, head on the Visa boss um, just is not in proportion with um, the, his stature um, but, uh, Shoulders are still a little too wide. Nothing's like really evened out. I mean, they give them a wider, a little bit of a wider like uh, uh, truck chest with a <laughs> um, little bit of a wider, uh, you know, ab section. Um, nothing's really changed that down in here. But I mean, that's that this head that they provide is not that much bigger than the uh, the head that is already provided with uh, Combiner Works Prime. Um, I still do uh you know like like the molding on it and still do like the coloring and um, everything that goes with that uh they both still have the same backpack issues um with the back side of the uh the cab the you know the weird looking cab um biggest difference the snd actually um provides um transformation for the uh, combined mode whereas the visa boss does not have anything for that um, not really made for combined mode um, but I kind of wish that you know like somebody would have popped out a uh, combiner worst prime upgrade kit that actually um, took these out took these pieces right out and uh, had new pieces that would actually be transformable um, and that were uh, more squared off and uh, set flush with the, a little bit more flush with the back for transformation. Um, along with uh, some new forearms to add on to this piece um, to get rid of, uh, obviously, the combined mode movable hand and uh, the piece of plastic out at the side here. Um, I, I think uh, that would definitely be an upside to any kit right there for me personally um but i mean uh, it uh, otherwise this is a good kit i i just wish maybe i mean it, i mean if you wanted to paint the uh, the feet blue kind of like a way to like match the kit you know, i mean they would probably fit in better um s and d kit is obviously awesome and practically perfect the way it is I personally just wanted to see how he would look with these two pieces on him. Um, which, like I said, it does look okay. I mean, it does look, uh, uh, you know, uh, 
does look cool with a little bit of the uh, taller knee pad. Because, uh, you know, personally, I, I think they made the knee pads to be more like a leader class uh, sized. Um, whereas, you know, these were the knee pads on here themselves uh, look like they could have been more a, uh, a voyeur class uh, size knee pad. Um, and then the only other thing is that the, uh, the piece where, you know, it clips in, it's pretty much a seamless, uh, piece of plastic in here. You wouldn't even be able to tell the difference. Whereas, obviously, you know, um, SND has this, uh, bright piece of, uh, red plastic in here that, uh, obviously throws off all the blue when you look at it, right? And, uh, the, the clip-on doesn't even fill in the whole... Uh, empty space there um, you know it's kind of something that you know like if uh, uh, people are looking for a perfect edition upgrade that you know I mean if they want to you know uh, look you know your stuff over um, and you know obviously see um, that they're you know probably uh, not want to actually uh, purchase the kit themselves um, but, yep, yeah, uh, but, uh, that's just, uh, uh, my personal opinions on the, uh, differences between these kits and what could have possibly, what else could have possibly been done. Um, so, um, it's also based on what your own personal opinions are for your own collectible items. Um, so with that, I will say thanks for watching.